Hi everyone, welcome back to Bricks at Home. Today we're looking at LEGO Marvel set 76253, Guardians of the Galaxy Headquarters. The set released in April this year for £9 or $10 and includes 67 pieces with two minifigures. We'll take a look at the main build later, but first, let's have a look at those minifigures. First up, we have Star-Lord, who also appears in a new Guardian ship. He has a very detailed torso with the gold Guardian symbol in the centre, and these details continue down onto the legs. You'll also find some nice detail to the back of the figure, and an alternative face as well. And who could forget his iconic blasters? Our second and final figure is Groot, who as of this time is exclusive to this set. This will be the main draw for most people, as this is a really nice minifigure. These spiky shoulder pads help give Groot a bit of extra height, and along with the headpiece, helps give him some extra tree-like textures. These organic details are also captured on his legs, going up to his torso and even showing up on the back as well. And as there's no hairpiece for this minifigure, you'll find no alternative face to the back of the head. Onto the small yet surprisingly satisfying build, which recreates the Sliver of the Guardian's HQ, we have a small simple table made of only three pieces, which actually does a nice job of being a good workbench. We also have four different tools to use on the table, an axe, a hammer, a shovel and a wrench. There's a smaller side table or shelf area where two of the tools can be stored and there's a sticker detail above showing various different parts of information. Next to this wall we have a small entrance made out of this archway, with an industrial style lamp hung over the top. It's tall enough to allow a minifigure to walk through, or you can stand on here instead, which looks really nice for display. And just off to the side of this entrance you'll find the second and last sticker, a rather nicely lit Guardians of the Galaxy sign sat against a rusty backdrop. The sign is actually held in place by being attached to its wall. This beam and arm clip doesn't connect to the sign, it just nicely sits here inside this corner plate. And if we look at the back you can see there's not a lot going on to the rear of this build, just a bit of texture from the pieces used to the front as seen from inside the headquarters. I'm really surprised how much I like this little set, it's definitely the sort of build I'd have on display if space was really limited, such as an office desk at work. It's fun, it looks nice and I especially like the splashes of purple throughout to help lift the greyness of the build. The inclusion of two lovable and iconic characters is great, as for the price, you can't go wrong. Let me know in the comments if you have this set and what you think of it. And if you're interested, I do have a video showing a build of this set, which I'll link at the end. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel to see future content first. Thanks again and see you soon.